Okay, we're gonna leave my campsite here farther uh, west in the beach area and um, try and join up with the main group. But there's about six people that are going to be there. They're just not moved yet. <clears throat> So there's the yellow pickup truck, and uh, but yeah, all nice guys, all nice people. People here in the transit van um, are going to go down there too. Sportsmobile, that's an early sportsmobile. There is nope, there is not a parking spot available in here. We are here at CamperCon. We moved from the spot that we were at earlier down the road to this location. And you can see the number of vans that are here. Let's cross the street quickly. So you can see there are well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22, 23. And then way down there, 24, 25. And then there's another about um, 15 inside of the parking loop. So, a pretty big turnout. Let me walk over here and see what's going on with people. So here is the rest of the group in this parking section here, but look at this adventurer based on an F450 crew cab. Triple slide, that is like majorly sweet. And the uh, cab is cut out with a pass-through that goes, uh, the back of the cab window is gone and halfway up the roof over the crew cab area. And uh, I've actually been in this before. The, um, uh, there's a removable cushion that goes over that opening and it's a pretty cool setup. If I could find one of these, I might even get one myself. Nineteen inch uh, aluminum wheels on it. Sweet. And it is the six point seven power stroke. And this here, that is a really good setup too. The retired U-Haul cube truck with a cab over. It's a really heavy duty box on it, and he's got uh, 
a whole bunch of silver on top. It looks like about uh, six, maybe 120 or so watt solar panels. So he's cranking out power. So yeah, pretty good setups here. This van here looks like it's a four wheel drive. Yeah, and there you go, four wheel drive. Looks like it's a fairly recent modification, newer wheels. Sweet. So this is where we are today. Um, I want to say Jericho Beach, but also La Carno Beach parking area. And there you see Vancouver through the trees. Nice. And this is just incredible setup here. He's got the infamous I'm not homeless, change my mind table. I'm not going to try to change his mind because I think that Justin is pretty well mind made. He knows what he wants and he's going to do that. But yeah, he uh, has his van set up pretty good here. I think he's done just about everything that he can do to it, which means that um, it might be time to look for another opportunity because I think it's the build that he likes. Sucks gas, hauls ass. Okay, so I'm bringing some muffins and my chair down to the group. <clears throat> Make sure my door's closed. So here is the news crew setting up their tripod. And they'll be running around recording things. TV station is interviewing Just Incredible right now in front of the Just Incredible TV purple van. Just for kicks, let's get a sweep of the action. Justin is being interviewed by the television crew again this year. I think that's the third year in a row he's been interviewed by them. That's the thing, yeah. Everybody else. Most people that are living in the, in the camera van or what have you, they, they don't have a channel and then they have a camera. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> now I see you're running around with a camera yourself, young man. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's great. Of course, now these guys have much nicer equipment than the rest of us do. A little bit more money. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how much they're worth. Oh, those cameras? Yeah. Oh, geez, that thing, that the lens is about like 13,000 bucks, and the camera is probably like 45,000, something like that. Yeah. Yes, uh, definitely. Uh, I've been but you know, it's uh, the focusing on it is spot on. Oh yeah, you could probably look through somebody's window. All oh the yeah. Other side of the yeah. Yeah, that the seventeenth floor of. Now <laughs> <laughs> well, I still want to know who owns that uh, adventurer there. You ever find out who that is? And then the other one I'd like to know is that four-wheel drive van. Oh yeah. Is this the one you just rebuilt? Yeah, this is a rebuilt and with yeah. a new head gasket. Yeah. 
Was it uh, easy to get the parts here uh, in America? My, my daughter sent me the parts from Germany. Okay, okay. This is the one that did all the work on the roadside. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Put no, the whole thing in the part. The header mm -hmm. Nice awesome. place to have a spare. <laughs> Yeah. No, this is the air comes inside. Oh. I have no air conditioning. And uh, that's a gas engine, isn't it? Oh, it's diesel. It is diesel. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, it's just one. It was a look. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, these are fuel lines here. Yeah, that's okay. also diesel fuel line, it's a okay. line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when they say they want not starting, I can pump you. And then oh. they start. Okay. No. No? Well, it's actually you very... You don't even have a channel and I know all about you. Yeah. <laughs> it's really a very clean... Oh, and then he uh, just uh, <laughs> sprayed on the hood. The I saw that ram. in the video. When yeah, that was yeah. Sprayed on. <clears throat> I signed. Oh, you did? Yeah. Which one's hey, yours? I'm a King Tut Tut. <laughs> King Tut Tut. King Tut Tut. That's yeah, my yeah. hat. And oh, my okay. Geocaching name was King Tut Tut. Oh, really? And that's my hat. Okay. Hey, you don't know. Uh, 2500 We're looking at Manfred's van and he has a whole bunch of signatures on his van from people that are coming by to look at it. It's a Fiat. And if you recall, he uh, had to rebuild or uh, put on a new head gasket uh, a couple of weeks before the 2018 CamperCon. So those are all the uh, signatures, and there you see right there is CamperCon 2018 with the shadow on it and a little heart. And there's my signature there with the uh, shadow under it. There's Just Incredible's signature. And I've gotten to meet all these people here, very nice people. playing guitar. Really cool guy. And his wife. Or not not the wife, the friend. Did you see that? She never played uh, picture time. Just his side though. We're not fired. Picture. Oh, do it. I got to go put something on more flamboyant though. <laughs> a little bit. You need to be there with the guitar. Maybe even right in front. <laughs> well, I don't know. Kind of you know, yeah. all like, there we go. Yes. There we go. Yes. There we go. That's, there go. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, Let's see. Okay. Yeah, hold, hold, the, hold the flag up a little higher so it's above his head. You're a sorter. Yep. Yeah. 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 All the sort yeah. people are hiding. Yeah. I see you. <laughs> 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 Okay. Who wants the short people up front? 
I'm not gonna get in here. Come on, try to keep up with him. Put down. There it is. On my knees. Okay, on the count of three, you guys know what to say. Yeah. Does anyone know what to say? Rocking in the free world. Okay. Yeah. Do a couple. Okay. Three, two, one. Keep on rocking in the free world. Uh, what's another one? We gotta do this funny. Cheese. Uh, you know <laughs> oh, 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 Van Life is playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. How about something for Mark? <laughs> oh. and, then, and then I'll stand up with the Mark Denard. <laughs> Where is Mark Denard? Yeah. Yeah. Should we say that? Yeah. yeah. Take a picture of this, Mark Denard. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a good one. It was on the ground. It was on the ground. Low on the ground. This picture is for you, Mark. I knew it was right there. Okay, let's just let's just literally on the count of three, we'll all just say hashtag van life as loud as we can. Okay. 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 All right. Three, two, one. Hashtag Van Life! <laughs> Hold it, I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> yes, sit down, sit down. Wait, did you get me from my right side? No, I got you from your left side. Okay. Because it's all about the lighting, right? Yes. <laughs> It's timing down. Five seconds. Awesome. Yeah, it's called beer. Oh, that's fucking beautiful, guys. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so is my garbage can. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Just because it's recording. Yeah. Oh, it's so. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got two angles this time just to be safe, right? I didn't realize I was going I'm gonna walk over here towards the beach so I can look back and get a full view of all the vans and stuff. So look at this location. We are in Vancouver, and over here is Vancouver straight ahead. Of course, this is the GoPro, so it's gonna be like really teeny tiny in the field of view. And there's West Vancouver hidden behind the ships. So let's take a look at all these vans that are here. My truck camper is uh, behind the trees there. And there is the main gathering. And there are a couple of other smaller gatherings just because of uh, parking you could not get close enough down here to group together. So right here, the little Transit Connect, the, um, that's like one of my favorite vans here. It is small, but he has it so well outfitted, it's just amazing. And then he got rid of his buddy heater and now he has a uh, Wave 3 heater in there. And he said that that pretty well eliminated all of his condensation problems with heating compared to the buddy heater. And... So there's a few other people here. Uh, that's uh, the gentleman with the red shirt is standing next to Manfred's German motorhome, Class C. So very cool. It's been a really nice gathering, very nice people. I'm enjoying myself uh, very much. Okay, so just for fun, here's the CamperCon 2016. And of course the uh, obligatory keep on rocking in the free world sticker. And here is the new one, 2018 CamperCon. So let's uh, 
peel this baby back here. There's the sticker. And we're going to just put it right below that one. Right there. And so there you go. So, there we go. Two CamperCon events that we've attended with this truck camper. And of course my National Association Truck Campers of America membership. Gotta have that if you're a real truck camper. Okay, let's head back to the group. Way back up there. Don't jump! American flag? It's called the Ashley. It's actually called the Friendship flag. Friendship flag? Okay. America, let's Canada, USA. We sure. Are sure. Yeah, I like that. Now you've got your deck up there still, right? No, I don't have the railing anymore. Okay. I'm having a custom aluminum on one bait. It'll be up to about here. Oh, okay. a flip up. Nope. No? It'll still be lower than some truck campers. Okay. Okay. Cool. That'll, that'll come in handy for uh, the fireworks next year. Yep. Bingo. <laughs> Absolutely. CamperCon 2018 was a lot of fun. There were nice people from the U.S., Canada, and across the globe. People were creative with the RV living arrangements in their vehicles. The beach has a shoreline trail with a wonderful view, so I went for a couple nice walks along that. While driving around, I got to see some of the sights of Vancouver, as our host would say. Stanley Park remains on the wish list. CamperCon was coming to a close, so I decided to leave on Sunday night in hopes of avoiding the expected long border lines and wait times due to all the people returning home after the long Labor Day weekend. Much thanks to our host, JustIncredible.tv, for assembling and hosting this friendly lifestyle event. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this extended length video. Your subscription would be appreciated. I hope to see you back for the next video, be it a construction and remodeling video, the work videos make everything possible, a how-to video, or everyone's favorite, a travel and camping video. Different video types are posted all the time.
this rest stop. Kind of a nice little spot. There's a truck camper. Trees, a little bit of uh, road noise in the distance. But it was very peaceful. So, okay, we are going to get hopping on out of here. Head back home. Yeah, I've uh, kind of decided I'm not going to uh, dump right now. The line is ridiculous. I'll just uh, dump tomorrow someplace where I can get to it easily. Now, what is this? Is someone dumping their tank right there? You just cut loose on something right there. So yeah, that's um, a little more <clears throat> time than I want to spend. Down there. And back on the I-5 we go.